Behind us now you are seeing a satellite view of Hurricane Aaron. It is set to stay well off the east coast, but still it is causing dangerous and deteriorating conditions. A high risk of rip currents, double digit wave heights and tropical storm force winds up to 60 miles per hour. Michael Yoshida is in North Carolina with the message from the National Weather Service. Stay out of the water. Eric and Joe, the waves crashing tonight here in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Uh, this one example of the concern officials have had, those strong waves, the big storm surge, but also those dangerous rip currents. This beach, one of many up and down the East Coast with a no swim advisory. Officials saying do the right thing, stay out of the water, hunker down and prepare for the impacts of Hurricane Aaron. All eyes are on Hurricane Aaron as the storm tracks north and nearly parallels the U.S. East Coast. It's going to be a sunny day here, and uh, the threats are coming from afar. North Carolina is under a state of emergency, and evacuations have been ordered in parts of the Outer Banks. If you've been asked to evacuate, please do so now. On Pea Island, scoopers built up sand dunes as storm surge and destructive waves of 20 feet or more are possible. Take photos of whatever you own that is valuable in case it gets destroyed. Rescuers saved more than a dozen people from rip currents at Wrightsville Beach on Tuesday, following about 60 rescues at the beach Monday. As officials urge people to stay out of the water, that includes both the ocean and flooded roadways along the coast during high tide. Don't drown, turn around. We do not want you to become a casualty of Hurricane Aaron. Aaron is an unusually large hurricane, making it more capable of delivering dangerous conditions. So big, in fact, that the accuracy of the National Hurricane Center's probability graphic, which depicts the likelihood of areas getting tropical storm force winds, is potentially underselling it. For this particular storm, we're not expecting a lot of rain. We're expecting mostly wind. As of Wednesday, Aaron's winds were impacting more than 400 miles in the Atlantic Ocean. By Friday, it could be more than 650 miles wide. And officials tell us they expect the impacts from Hurricane Aaron to continue to get worse as we head into Thursday morning. They also say the dangers from the storm, those rip currents, are expected to last for several days. Reporting in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, Michael Yoshida, CBS News, Chicago. Well, our weather here is quiet, but Albert is giving us the latest view of Aaron. Yeah, he's tracking where it is right now and just how powerful it is. 10 o'clock advisory just released. This remains a Category 2 hurricane tonight with wind speeds of 110 miles per hour located 215 miles to the southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Rain bands, though, staying offshore. And as you saw from the video, this is mainly going to be a storm surge type of hurricane. As we take a look at the infrared satellite, the thunderstorms continue to blossom right along the eye wall. That's why there's at least a chance that this could get a little bit stronger before it moves away from the United States late tomorrow into Friday and moves into cooler waters in the North Atlantic as we head towards the weekend. Right now, places like the Outer Banks of North Carolina dealing with the worst of the storm surge tonight into tomorrow, two to four foot storm surge. But notice the storm surge forecast goes all the way to the Jersey Shore where they could see one to three foot storm surge tonight. A little bit of that tropical storm force wind field brushes against North Carolina and then it begins to pull away by tomorrow morning. Back with your local forecast, including a taste of fall in the seven day. Coming up. See you in a bit, Albert. Thanks.